guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is going to be a really quick one and Peter's going to show you one of his favorite lights, which is also a really quick and easy light to set up. Um, and yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of all. And yeah, and yeah, that's as good as you can do Throw it over to, Peter. to our community. She's really, really enthused with you. Well, and yeah. well I don't know what else, to, what else are we doing? It's all right. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly do some stuff with Beauty Dish. I love the Beauty Dish because when you get an average looking model, you put the Beauty Dish on them, they look amazing. <laughs> She's not average, it's stirrings. At the moment, I've just got the straight bare Beauty Dish. This one here is about two hands wide. Don't ask me what this is. This Beauty Dish here is about... 18 years old, it started yellow, it's some cheap, cheap, crappy brand that I made an adapter to fit on the bronze color. It's my favorite one. I don't know where you're gonna buy it, it's just a really old one. I like how shallow it is, and I like that it's slightly yellowed because it gives a different type of bounce and a white. And I have silver beauty dishes I don't use. I call a silver beauty dish a reflector, so it's not really what I use. I'm just gonna get a, an exposure. I'm gonna set this up as a color picture first then we'll do some black and white we're just going off on the tip of her nose pull that down now one of the things with one of the things with the beauty dish is we've got this thing that's blocking the main light and we're using this area here as the reflector so we're not getting but what that means is we also got an area that's a bit darker and one good thing with beauty dishes is if we've got say a chest area we don't want the chest area to be brighter than the face, so I can point the center of the beauty dish to there to make that area a touch darker. This, I'm just gonna use it square on, get a nice shot, cool, that's cool. Yep, so again, I'm still just going off on the tip of her nose. I can live with that. I'm just gonna now stylize this to how I wanna see it. So I wanna color balance it a bit. I wanna make it a little bit more lutty. Um, so let's mess up our color tones. I don't want to go that way. I want to get, yeah, let's go for, I'll go a little bit teal and orange into this and get that green. That's looking a bit nice. Throw some contrast into, that's looking really cool. Uh, pull down that a little bit. Now you'll see how orange her skin's gone. Uh, make it most likely love it. Saves her going to tanning salon. This is me playing a bit. So what I might do, and most raw programs allow you to do things like this. I just want a selective color, the blue of the shirt. And I want to take the blue of the shirt, just make it, see, I might, oh, I like that greeny blue. Do you like that greeny blue? So it's given me sort of, and I might just desaturate that a little bit because it's a little bit too bright. Let's bring it in about there. So it's given me a nice sort of LUT sort of look. One of the things I do like is see, because I've got it fairly high, it's cast this shadow under a chin. If I don't want the shadow to be so deep, I will drop the light more. But I like the idea that separated her off. I might drop it just a little bit, but most fashion prefers to have that slight separation. It gives a nice cut jaw. Um, that's really cool, that's really cool. Yeah, that's, that's just giving a really cool fashion feel about it. Uh, I'm just going to tweak her skin a bit more. Yeah, let's... And all of this is there's no, there's no right or wrong. It's whatever you're trying to create. So I'm happy with that. With this now too, once I've got my exposure there, I can really easily just walk around and still do some really cool shots off access to the light. It's still going to give me a really, really nice light on Mika. Um, cool, cool. That's really cool. Nice, nice. That's really cool. Cool. So that's just using the beauty dish straight and it's really cool, really easy light to use. You can't really get it too wrong. Um, with someone close to a wall, you're of course going to cast a shadow. Now I'm going to do it how I tend to like it more. So I'm going to go back to the uncolor damaged image. And yes, I should So this has all fallen apart of years and years of use. I don't care, it makes it better. Some things, old, or sometimes old broken things work the best. So that would have taken off some power, 
But what I might do, instead of turning the power up, I'm going to bring the light in a little bit. Now this grid is going to vignette off the light. Let's see what we get there. And it will have pulled at least a stop. I've put about a stop back into it. That's cool. But you'll see the difference between that shot. See how it's really vignetted that light off. And I actually reckon it gets better on, on skin. I actually like the look on skin better with the grid on there. All I'm looking at now is... And just tilt that light a fraction down and just a little bit, just so the fall off isn't as big going down. Yeah, just the jeans you'll see See, it's quite dark here. That's now just got that fall off to give me the length, especially if it was for a fashion designer. So I'm really liking that. We can most likely look at a different way to take this one. Um, I might take this to a more my type of look, just a nice punchy black and white. Let's protect the shadows a little bit, contrast it a little bit. And then we'll get Mika to do her 5,000 poses in two seconds. Cool. Cool. You familiar with... That's cool. That's more where I want you to go. Sort of more that guest campaign or Calvin Klein. That little bit not so... Not too pretty. A little bit broken. Cool. That's really cool. Very cool. And then I could do maybe a mixture of the two. So let's take it off black and white. See what we've got there. Let's desaturate that a fair bit. That's cool. That's cool. We add a bit more contrast. Now we can mess up the color. Um, with the color changing, it comes down to your taste. Oh, that sort of antique-y cool. model straight in there, taking pictures with my reflection in them. Uh, I think it makes it look better. Oh, it makes better. All right, so I've just, oh, let's break it the whole way. That's it, let's really break it. So with this thing, with what I'm doing now, it's a matter of just wanging sliders. And if, yeah, I learned the word wanging years ago. It's a really cool tutorial I watched and I called it wanging and I actually really liked the word wanging. So I'm wanging the sliders, which means just moving back and forward till I find a spot I like. I think I've wanged it enough. I'm just gonna sneak that back a tiny bit and up just a tiny bit. And if you're asking why am I doing this, it's just my gut says that's what to do. There's no nothing technical about it. Cool, that's what I call. I'm liking that a lot. Alright, so you can't come off the wall because the light will change, but I'm gonna come in a bit closer. So I'm just gonna do upper, cool. That's really cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm liking that. Can we get your head out? Yeah, your head out. The hair out. And yeah, thank you very much. She's just gonna mess it up. That's cool. That's nice and cool. That's really cool. That's really cool. Um. I think it just needs one more thing. I only want a little bit of movement. Oh, that's a bit cool. Don't want it too motorbike -y. That's a bit cool. Nice. That's really cool. Cool. Just gonna vary a little bit. Actually liking that lot. That's cool, that's really cool. Yeah, I need the hero shot now. Nice, nice. Come on, come on those eyes. That's better, that's better. If I don't shoot, it means I don't like it. Thank you. <laughs> cool. With people like Mikro, I don't really need to say much. I just need to, if I don't shoot, she knows I'm not happy with it and she'll change. That's cool. That's cool. That's a bit That's cool. cool too. That could be the hero shot. That's a very cool with the hair. That is very cool. When did you get cools? 
<laughs> is once you got your visa, so yeah, once you got your visa right, you got yeah. all cool. So when I started like doing my own TikTok page. Oh, it's your TikTok. Own... Oh, get away from the commercial page. <laughs> so what's your, your own TikTok page? Just you eating lots of ice cream or something? No, it's me putting my hair up in like a mullet. And, like, oh yeah, cool. You actually doing whatever you like yeah. rather than what other people want you to do. So I'm just looking for the hero shot to go on the cover, okay? Cool. Cool. So let's see how good you can do a Coca Rosha. But I don't want it in the face, it's the whole body, not just the face. I don't want her expressions, just I want that speed of movement, all right? Cool, cool, nice. Finish it with the eyes though, every shot. I'm gonna click one, I see your eyes, bang. Eyes, thank you, eyes. See, now I'm your personal selfie taker, right? So use it. Once I see your eyes, that's when I'm gonna take my shot. Okay. okay? Cool. Nice, nice. That's better when a waiter fraction, isn't it? Let you drop into the pose, then pull the face. That's cool. That's really cool. Cool there. Uh, you got to have nailed something. Oh, her head broke. It's about to fall off. So we hope you enjoyed that, as I said, just a really quick short one for today. And what I will do is throw up some other Mika videos somewhere around my head.